With more people making a conscious effort to eat healthier these days, growing greens have become big business around the country. And you can find one of the top producers right here in Georgia, where Baker Farms has everything they need to see their product from the seed to the shelves, all under one roof. Daddy wanted, had, has always had dreamed of farming, had worked in the industry, uh, in the industrial field, come back into the field of farming and, 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 and hit the ground running. Obviously started small. It was very uh, family oriented at the time. Uh, everybody worked and did everything. I drove tractors and toted buckets and Joe has too. And we worked a, a good, good bit uh, as we grew up in the farming field. And around 2000, you know, we decided we wanted to do something a little different, something that everybody else wasn't doing. So we began to put in um, collards, kale, mustard, turnips. Uh, we grew them uh, from anywhere from the, the dozens that you see on the market. Uh, then we, we transferred to the box greens. And um, then in probably 2015, we decided that we wanted to take it to the next level and we started doing a value-added uh, pre-chopped, pre-washed, ready-to-eat greens. This is, this is a process of, of, of getting something as, as prepared as possible to be able to serve and do that in the safest possible way. We, uh, we, do, uh, we have modified our system, uh, whereas a lot of places do just a single or possibly a double wash. We do a true triple wash and we, we use the, the, the proper amount of chemicals and multiple te testing regimens to make sure when that ending process comes around, you've got the best, most cleanest, safest product that we can provide to the consumers. You know, I don't think that anybody can do but a certain amount of things and do a good job at it. And I think the marketplace is so competitive now that, there's, that you have to maintain top quality in whatever you do from the consumer end to the retail end, they, they demand that you stay on top of your game. And um, I think that if you're not changing and if you're not upgrading and adapting, then I think you're falling behind. It's like anything else. There's certain times of the year that it's, it's not difficult at all. Um, but there's other times of the year, uh, now that we're going into the spring, uh, and then when we go into the summer, uh, it gets pretty challenging to me. You know, greens like cool weather. They don't like 95 degree weather. So uh, in the summertime, it's a challenge. But, you know, during the summertime, we transist some of our product and some of our productivity all the way to Michigan. We, you know, we, we've got uh, boots on the ground, uh, our own crews in Michigan, where we're cutting product there. Well, the best, there's, you know, you can't survive without it. I mean, you have got to have from the time you put that plant in the ground to, about it, to the time you put it on that shelf, it's got to be, you know, A, a quality. Uh, there's no room for error. It's humbling in the sense that we were able to grow from a small uh, family-owned farm to what we are now, and, and, it's, and it gives us great pride that we can, again, provide that product to people um, that is a good, wholesome, safe product that they can take then home to their family, and really they become sort of as part of our family.